Hello and welcome to another video here at AV Forums. This time we're taking you through our recommended picture settings for the LG 55 C6 OLED Ultra HD 4K TV. So the first thing we need to do is go into the menu system, which you do by pressing the settings button on the remote control and then selecting all settings. Go into the picture submenu and then we go into picture mode settings. We need to select the correct picture mode. There are a number of different picture modes. We're going to be using ISF Expert Right Room and ISF Expert Dark Room. Very conveniently named here so you know one's for daytime and one's for nighttime viewing. So starting with the ISF Expert Right Room setting, go back. we're setting the OLED light to 60, uh, nice and bright for a room with ambient light in it. Contrast set to 80 so it's not clipping. The brightness at 50 setting horizontal and vertical sharpness to zero, leaving color as default setting of 50 and tint as default setting of zero. Under expert controls, dynamic contrast off, super resolution off, color gamma normal, edge enhancer off, color filter off. We use a gamma of 2.2 for the daytime setting. And then in the white balance control, color temperature warm, Actually, there's warm one, warm two, and warm three, but warm two is the closest to the industry standard of D65, so use that. Uh, we're showing you the two point control. There's also a 20 point control as well, but that's a little bit excessive, particularly when you're talking about um, you know, more than one TV. If it's a specific TV, that's fine, but you probably couldn't use a 20 point settings from one TV to the next. But we'll give you the two points, which will get you in the ballpark. So, high, you want red at minus one, green at zero, and blue at minus two. And for low, they're all at zero. And that actually gave us a pretty accurate uh, grayscale with errors that were all well below two. So that should be more than sufficient. Coming back, we've got the color management system. It was pretty accurate out of the box. We just tweaked the colors slightly to get them slightly more accurate. So here you can see red. We've only used uh, minus four on luminance. On green plus one on luminance, for blue, no changes there, cyan, uh, plus one again on luminance, magenta, minus two on tint, minus two on luminance, and for yellow, just uh, plus one on tint. Okay, let me go out of this and into the picture options. Here we have noise reduction off, MPEG noise reduction off, black level at low, motion IK off, and true motion we've left off. Obviously you can experiment with this when you're watching things like sport for example. Um, for film based content we'd always recommend leaving it off. Okay so that's the daytime setting or bright room setting. Now we're going to go up and we're going to do the dark room or nighttime setting. So here we've got OLED light set to 40, which should be nice and bright and comfortable to watch in a dark room at night. Contrast again at 80 to avoid clipping. Brightness still at 50, horizontal sharpness and vertical sharpness zero. Color at 50, tint at zero. And then in the expert control, same as before, except we're going gamma as 2.4 and under white balance, again, two point control, we've got uh, high settings, uh, red four, green zero, blue zero, and then for low settings, uh, red zero, green zero, blue zero. And then the color management system. Again, just some fine tuning here. So uh, under red, we've got saturation minus two, luminance minus two, green, saturation zero, tint zero, luminance two, blue, luminance plus two again, Cyan, uh, tint minus two, uh, luminance plus two, magenta, saturation zero, minus two for tint and minus one for luminance. And finally for yellow, we have uh, tint of three and luminance of one. And then for the picture options, again, same thing. Um, all off um, and, uh, with, with true motion of course you can experiment depending on the content you're watching but as always with film based content we suggest strongly that you leave it off. 
Okay, that's the settings for the day and night modes. Uh, we're going to show you some settings for HDR as well. First of all, though, we need to go to general little thing you do here, and you'll see it down here, and buried away in the general menu for some reason, HDMI Ultra HD Deep Color. Now, whichever inputs you're using for an Ultra HD HDR source, make sure it's on. In this case, HDMI 1 is going to be the Ultra HD Blu-ray player, so that's turned on. Okay, now we're going to switch the settings to an HDR feed, and we'll show you some HDR settings. Okay, so now we're sending an HDR signal, so we'll go back into the menu system. As you can see, the C6 has detected its HDR and gone straight into the HDR picture mode settings. Um, there are a number of different HDR picture modes, but we strongly recommend that you use HDR standard. Um, when it detects an HDR signal, it defaults immediately to OLED light 100 and contrast 100. Brightness 50, sharpness set to 0, color leave at 50, tint leave at 0. Under expert controls, we turn off dynamic contrast, turn off super resolution. Color gamut, you need to use Y because that's the full native color gamut. Um, edge enhancer off, color filter off. You can't change the gamma. That's obviously using the PQ EOTF for HDR. And actually out of the box, the grayscale tracked very accurately, so we haven't touched that. And the same goes for color management system. We haven't touched that either because we're using the entire uh, native color gamut for HDR. Over in picture options, you can turn off noise reduction and turn off MPEG noise reduction. Uh, and again, true motion, if it's film based content at the moment at least, all the HDR content you're watching will be film based. We recommend you leave that off. And those are our day, night, and HDR settings for the LG 55 C6 OLED Ultra HD 4K TV. Don't forget, you can read the actual review at avforums.com forward slash reviews. You can also see more videos at avforums.com forward slash videos. And why not follow us on Twitter? And like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.